Yeah, I think most of us think Revy is absolutely incredible. And how do we keep it that way? How do we sustain the stoke and keep it as amazing as it is? And one of the things we do is we have these nonprofits like CSIS, which is the Columbia Shoe Swap Invasive Species Society. And I'm here with Jess Booth, and today we're out here trying to get rid of some of these invasive species. Yeah, so we're here on the Greenbelt in Revelstoke, and we've got some volunteers helping pull out Himalayan balsam. And the Himalayan balsam are these beautiful pink flowers. And you said that they probably were, somebody brought them for their garden and then it basically spread from there. Most likely a lot of invasive species become invasive because they're an ornamental or someone thought that they might look nice here. I didn't realize, I mean, I know there's lots of invasive species around, but I did not realize that these were one of them. Overall, what does CSIS do? CSIS is an environmental nonprofit. It started in April 2013 and it joined a group of 13 other regional invasive species groups throughout the province that came together to address the spreading of invasive species with a whole bunch of different stakeholders. And so we do community education and outreach, so weed pools, we go to markets, a whole bunch of different environmental workshops and then the other parts of the program are our terrestrial program so we go out surveying and what's plants, out there, yeah. and we also then treat them and monitor sites and then our other program is the aquatic program so aquatic invasive species um, which we go out and sample for across the whole of the Columbia shoe shop region you can't be a fair weather person for <laughs> a job like this but <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, the question is, is like as a local, what can I do to make sure I'm not bringing in invasive species or like what, what things can I do to help? First thing is making sure you play clean go. So yeah, making sure there's no mud attached to our shoes, boots, outdoor gear, animals, our pets, anything that comes along with us on the trails. The other thing is the Grow Me Instead program or initiative that we follow and so that is looking at invasive species and selecting alternatives that we could plant instead in our gardens. Yeah. So I think that's a great one because personally I, I've never even thought about that in my garden. I'm just like, oh, I want that beautiful thing, but it, a bit of education and totally. they're, they're making all... Yeah, it's not illegal to sell a lot of the invasive species and a lot of people yeah. in a garden centre won't realise what they're buying and putting in their garden. The other huge one is clean, drain and dry is our message and making sure that there's not any water droplets or any plant material introduced to any new body of water. So if you go from one body of water to another, making sure that's crispy, crispy dry. Clean, drain, dry. And that's a really important one with all of us with our stand-up paddle boards these days. Like those things can transfer species from one body of water to another. So let's just like, let's all think about those things so we can help. Awesome, Jess. Well, thanks for your time. And thanks for doing all these goodness and getting us in here because I actually feel quite satisfied. Having yeah, we've few. got quite a few I feel flags. like I'm doing good. You are. You're doing great. <laughs> well, let's get back at it because there's this section. Once we're done it, we're out of here so these yeah. mosquitoes can stop feasting on us. They are feasting for sure. <laughs> this is your bag. This is mine. Well, thank you for grabbing it. <laughs>